Yo, what's up guys? It's Parnelix, and uh, we're on PBE with the new item changes, which is some hype stuff, if I do say so myself. I already played one game. I uh, tried to record a video on it. It was it was a disaster. It was a 45 ADC it was AFK like two minutes in the game, and I didn't really have a good idea as to what I was going to build. So I took at like 10 minutes before this game started to kind of get a grasp of uh, or get an idea of what I'm looking for, um, to say the least, so that I don't look like an idiot this time. But um, yeah, new changes. Um, New item changes, season 11. I just made a long video discussing them. Um, but I understand if you guys didn't watch the entire video because that's two hours long and just me just kind of talking. One thing worth mentioning before I go any further is a new rune. This I, I'm pretty sure this is the only new rune. Um, this seems to be the only new rune. Legend Destroyer. It's just a legend rune, right? You just get legend stacks. But it gives you dual penetration. Uh, percent dual penetration, which is actually pretty good on Warwick, honestly. So, um, it actually seems like a yeah, it seems like a Warwick room. Um, not not that, like it's gonna be a Warwick when you go to every game, but there's definitely situations where this seems viable. So that's kind of hype. Um, I didn't really see if any other runes got changed, but this is the, like the first like this is like the only new rune I actually saw. Um, just by glancing over. But. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and discuss everything. So the jungle got changed a little bit. You'll know you'll notice my clear is a little bit slower. Um, that's because the new jungle item is basically everyone gets hunter everyone gets hunter's talisman. Uh, hunter's machete is removed from the game, so you don't have that effect, but you do get hunter's talisman. Um, this is kind of bad for work, because as you can see, my single target damage isn't good. That's good at least. My attack speed's lower, and I don't have the on-hit damage. So I think Warwick's first clear will kind of, it won't suck, but it'll be a little bit worse. But he will have better mana sustain, which I guess is kind of a plus to an extent. But how the new jungle item works is you don't build into Warrior, or um, you don't build into Warrior, you don't build into Cinderhawk or anything like that. You just have to smite, you just have to smite, you just have to, just have to use smite on camps five times. And you can see the, the counter right here. I already used it once, and it's counting down. And uh, once this gets to zero, this item will disappear, and I'll get challenging smite. So I can build into other items afterwards. So it's just 350 gold, and I get the jungle effects, plus I get challenging smite. You can also get chilling smite, that's another option, but I like my, uh, I like my challenging smite. So that's what we're building into. Also, you see Scuttle Crab, it has a shield. It's essentially the same as how Scuttle Crab works now. It has a resist, but instead of bonus resist, it gets a shield instead. Nothing really changes, you just fear it and you'll get rid of it. Uh, they added that just mainly for vis uh, They added it mainly for just visual clarity. So we got the crab, let's go over to our red buff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it works clear at first clear is a lot worse, but um you do you are able to build into your wave clear item first. So one thing I did, I just found out in my last game. So Tiamat got nerfed. You notice right here, it's less gold, but you lose the active effect. You still get the cleave, but you lose the active. I thought it was a huge L and I was very sad. And it's well still kind of an L because it is a nerf. But you have a new option. Uh, new option. What is this new option, you might ask? Oh by the way, check out check out this orange. Krugs. Also notice how my um, this talisman I think turn, brings makes them on fire, which is kind of cool. The other option, um, so there's Tiama, is Kama, which just gives you AD and it gives you the active, the, the Tiama active. Um, and it also it deals double damage to enemies below 40% health, so it does have an execute. The reason why this matters and why I'm happy about this is Warwick. Really, really, um, oh, by, by the way, notice how I able to cleanly full clear into a, um, TMA or a comp. That's actually, that's actually really good. I can full clear and get this reliably, which is really hype. But I like comma over the TMA because, oh, first of all, I definitely need something, some AOE to clear out camps. And TMA is definitely going to be a little bit faster for clearing out camps, but I really like the active for the upfront burst damage. 
I think Warwick really needs that burst damage, and that's how I play him in Season 10. Uh, I, I, do, I do think that Warwick is going to be less bursty with item changes. No, the, the animation's different, but it's basically the same. So don't like it looks it looks kind of kind of wonky, but it's it's not clunky or anything like that. It's, it's still exactly the same as using Tiamat, so I just keep this Tiamat here. But uh, yeah, Warwick needs some. Um, also, it applies Hunter's Talisman. Just kind of. But yeah, Warwick just needs some kind of um, wave clear, and I just I, I, I like the burst. I like the upfront burst, and it gives me execute damage now as well, which is really useful for ganks. So it's kind of hype, and I'm just glad that that isn't the game. Also, it doesn't do reduced damage to enemies on the outside, so um, that's kind of cool. I'm just gonna do this. Um, yes, yeah, see, my, my clear is definitely a little bit slower, but uh, I think we are okay here. Actually, I can just I can do this, and I can just as I leave. Oops. I'm just gonna go over here to this uh, scuttle crab. This guy flashed on me. Um, oh yeah, I didn't really get into what item I'm looking for, what mythic item. So how mythic items work, if you didn't watch my video or you didn't watch any video, is you just get, you just get, everyone gets a mega item, a, a, super, a super legendary item every game. Because like legendary items, legendary items are like, you know, how legend, we, we currently have legendary items in season 10, which is just Rabdon's Death Cap, Infinity Edge, those are legendary items. But mythic items are... The, they're, they're, they're basically the same thing, except for they're just better, because they give, like, bonus stats as you build legendary items, so... And you can only build one. So you have to pick and choose which legendary item, or wh which mythic item you want. I think Gwork has a couple options. These three all look pretty good in their own right. And we'll just have to see... Oh, so their top laner's AFK kind of lame here. So I can get Training Force for burst damage. This for dueling, and this for, it's supposed to be anti-tank, but it's really just DPS, I guess, is how you describe this, and sustain, drain tanking. <sighs> hmm, I'm trying to think. I built this last game. It gives, um, it, it, this builds out of uh, Kama, and it actually heals based off your Kama damage. But, uh, and it also gives a lot of CDR, which is kind of nice, but we're actually gonna go Triforce here. We'll go the classic Triforce. It's different, very different, actually. Um, the one, the one thing that is makes Triforce not as appealing, I guess, um, is it just gives a bunch of attack speed, and I don't think Warwick really likes that much attack speed. It just seems like too much attack speed for Warwick. He doesn't mind a little bit, but it just, yeah, it just seems like too much. So, um, I guess that's it's kind of weird that it's called it's considered a burst item, considering it gives so much attack speed. Um, because you see, you see how it gives thirty, it gives thirty-five percent attack speed. But check out the mythic passive, which gives you more attack speed as you get other items. Just kind of interesting. We got Sheen proc here. By the way, Sheen doesn't build out of any mana. Just you just get the spell blade. So it's kind of interesting. I need to. By the way, I need to. Oh, also, awesome, yeah. Notice I. Oh wait, I got chilling smite. I didn't, I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, I got chilling smite. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Wait, no, no, I did get, I get a good challenging smite. For some reason, I thought I had challenging smite because it was blue. But yeah, you'll notice my item, jungle item, disappeared here, and uh, yeah, I just have challenging smite for the rest of the game. So uh, that is kind of how that works. I need to start fighting fighting people though. I will work on that. I will build it into Trinity Force here. I'm gonna try to fight this. Uh, I'm really not gonna try to fight. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know why. This is definitely a significantly worse clear, I will say. But I can build other stats early, so it might not be too bad. I might be able to actually avoid buying Tiamat or just common in general. That's, 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 that, there's potential there. There is potential. Go kill this this dude. Kill him with the with the. Um, well, I thought I killed him with the team up proc here. I think I think it was just the burn. We don't have the team up proc. 
Okay, interesting, interesting stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and just recall. We're gonna get this Kadashi, Kadaki, which is just, it's kind of similar to Phage, really. Attacking unit grants movement speed for two seconds, and it gives you attack speed and attack damage. It's just similar to Phage. That's all that really matters to most of you guys. I'm gonna grab boots here as well. And I don't really know how to... I'm still confused about this entire, like, item system. Like, I don't know how to, like... You know how normally it'll show your build and like and then you can click on your items and your build to like figure out what they build into? I don't know how to get to my items that I currently have. I have no idea what the hell is going on here, so. I just have to like navigate by typing in stuff, which is kind of weird for me. Commonly built. Um, so itemization wise, we're gonna go Triforce this game and we're gonna go into Wits Ends. Wits Ends a little bit different. It's kind of the same, but it gives you movement speed when you auto attack, which is kind of neat. It's neat, for sure. Um, so it's, it looks a lot better for Warwick. Death Stance also looks good. Steric Gauge looks good. They're kind of bruiser items, and I think that's probably how we're gonna build Warwick. I will tr definitely try out Assassin Warwick. Um, Dustblade, I think, has potential. Like, the more I look at Dustblade, the more I'm like, hmm, maybe. Let's go. Uh, well, he kind of, kind of stood still and just kind of accepted the death, which is whatever. Um, let me yeah, just more points in this. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go to Triforce, like I said, into Wits End. My main concern, though, with the item changes, I feel like there's not really good bruiser options for someone like War. Like, like, Black Cleaver, he doesn't really utilize very well. I should... God, I should just press Scar there. Which, by the way, you'll notice, I keep using this right away, when, since it does execute damage, I need to be waiting to use it, um, the active until like they're low. If I'm fighting a squishy, that is. Because it does have like a kind of a low cooldown, but it's a 15 second cooldown instead of a 10 second cooldown. Um, so it's definitely not something that I can really spam twice on like Kha'Zix there. I'm definitely misusing that. Okay. I got shut down there, unfortunate. Yeah, but I don't know. I honestly, my honest, straightforward opinion here, as I will do more testing, I I feel like I feel like items don't really look good for work overall. I don't see many great options. It looks uh, pretty like if you're gonna go bruiser build, like you can only go death stance, you can only go wood ends. It's like I, I don't know what other options he really has um, because he has, just has so few items that fit into the bruiser category that don't apply armor armor shred or whatever and while he does have some mythic options i think uh yeah just the rest of the items just seem kind of plans and i don't know if he'll do really good going ad which is how i like to build because yeah, i'm talking about bruiser work that is but ad warwick so like going like full ad not building health or whatever but like building like warrior and, and jacarian angel thank you thank you um, just, yeah, just basically, like, AD heavy Warwick seems, well, I don't have Warrior, so it's just, like, I miss out on Warrior. I still have GA, but I don't have Warrior, so I don't really know what would take the place of Warrior if I was wanting to go, like, an early skirmishing play style like that. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really not sure. And it has me concerned, but I will definitely stay optimistic and try to figure out, uh, I'll just try to figure out what works. I'll try to make something work. And if nothing ends up actually working, if Warwick is weak, then, well, he will just get buffs. It's simple as that. And I'll do, um, as I do testing, I, I, I won't really give a hard opinion on anything for a couple of weeks at least. So, um, I'm not one of those people who, like, I'm not one of those people who just has, like, a negative first impression and I just assume that Riot has no idea what the fuck they're, they're doing and everything's just wrong. This champion's weak. Like I said, there's gonna be change, so change is just like expected, and you gotta like adapt and change your mindset, change your builds. But I definitely want like AD work to still be a thing, like heavy AD work. So maybe maybe Dustblade. Dustblade actually looks potentially good. He get he does lose value off of the 
Like, it's, it's not really optimal to build to Lethalian Warwick, but it's not completely relying on the Lethalian staff, so that's kind of good news. That's, that was some pretty good damage right there. Okay, that's pretty nice. That was pretty nice. Did I, I think I healed a lot there. Did I actually heal off of the Triforce damage? So I think I normally don't. I don't know. I feel like I healed more than normal there, but I might have just not been paying attention or whatever. It's really unfortunate this game is a 4v5. Um, sorry, it's just PB. It's just how things work around here. And this game's not very active. I only got six kills in 15 minutes. I, 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 I kind of understand why these YouTubers make everything bloody. Just, it's more fun um, than me just like talking about stuff and AFK farming. But um, I'm trying to like think things through. I'm not trying to just cheese people and just get super fed and just. I want the game to be a little bit more realistic, so I'm not like 20 and over time I fight someone and claim something's OP. Okay, that's really good. That's nice execute damage there. Oh, that's that's pretty good damage, honestly. The Triforce definitely is looking solid, I will say. Plus this, uh, it's not bad. I am fed, but that's more damage than I normally do with like something like this. Well, there we go. Some big bursts as well. And I'm kind of tanky. Like, I'm not really tanky, but I'm not super squishy. Like if I just had Warrior. Like that, that was damage. That right there is damage, guys. Like. Why do I feel like I do, why do I do so much damage, honestly? Damn, it's, is there anything like extra I'm getting here? Because I get a bunch of attack speed, which is gives me more like DPS, but as far as just the straight up damage. I guess it's just the fact that I just have an early Triforce, probably. Wait. Okay, I didn't really notice it. So yeah, anyways, that that's Warwick. This preseason, game one, I will do more testing. Sorry if the game was a little stale. If I didn't really have a fully set up build, but I just wanted to explain a few concepts there. I will try to release more just to make sure that everything's not disappointing. And uh, yeah, well, this is step one of all my videos. I will be releasing over the next few weeks as uh, we test things out. So um, yeah, I will try out different builds and keep you guys updated. So peace out guys and uh, yeah, get pumped for season 11. Peace.